Can you pronounce it? Brignoni. Hey, uh, hi. <laughs> this is the cup that uh, Tamara was drinking out Oh, dude, I want to talk to you about that. <laughs> okay, folks, it's Torah Talk with Rabbi Rabs. How's it going? And uh, me, Levi Ben Abraham, aka Luke Ford. And uh, I haven't watched it or anything. I mean, we the lips are on this cup. Am I committing a sin? <laughs> stay away, stay away. Uh, I, I, you posted something on Facebook. The first ten minutes, I guess. So I checked them out to see what was going on. Mm -hmm. And um, I have some observations that were. Please share, okay. share them with me. Is anybody audience. watching though? Is somebody even in the above Hey, above Messiah, how's it going? There, I don't know. The, the chat room's not filled up yet, but I'll tell them anyways. The first thing I noticed was your demeanor around her. Now it's been a long time since you've had anybody that you've interviewed in this chair. So my first thing is, why would this guy... Like, it all goes together. It all goes together. You had a different demeanor with her, like, who I'm assuming is a stranger to you. You never met her before? Never met her before. Okay. Uh, then you did with me when we interviewed last summer for the first time. How here, so? here, well, this is how you were with her today. Ready? This is how it starts out. It's, no, I, let's do the way you did with me first. You didn't know me from Adams. I walked in the door... And you go, so, tell me about your childhood. What kind of, what kind of student were you? Were you the smart one? Were you the funny one? Were you the goddamn asshole one? That's how you were. You were very, like, forceful, and I was like, whoa, you were coming down to me. This is how you were with her today. I was like, hey, baby, tell me about your sex life. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, I don't believe it. So you were just, like, throwing her, like, softball pitches. And I'm going, like, why is this guy so, is it because I'm a guy? But then I started looking at the overall thing, and the first ten minutes told me everything I needed to know. She starts talking, and you're getting her to say, like, I mean, I don't know her. I never heard of her. I don't read the Jewish journal. I, I like, God, I, I wouldn't even read that in the bathroom, right? So she's, like, talking, and she said, you're, like, framing her as, like, the Jewish uh, Carrie Bradshaw. And it's like, she's like, well, I, you know, I have, like, sex with all these men, but I'm not going to, like, write about it. And I'm thinking, okay, now I get the whole thing. I get the whole thing. Lady, because my first thing was, why is he having her in, like, I, I'm i not like a, an ego person, like a power player. I'm not like a control freak. So, like, when you wanted to interview me, I could have just as easily said, hey, why don't you come over to my place? Why do I have to show up to your place, right? I don't see any reason why. And I was like, whatever. I don't care. I'll just go. I'm thinking, okay, maybe that's like his Derek Hateva, that he always has people come over to his place, right? Mm -hmm. And I started thinking... Knowing that, like you have like the, the like your bed three feet from us, mm -hmm. I don't think I would ever feel comfortable telling a woman to come over to this, right? So I'm thinking, what what is going on here? So I'm looking at the big picture in the ten minutes. The only women you ever invite over are all dating columnists. You admitted it yourself on your own Facebook today, or if you did, if it wasn't the only ones that I interviewed. Right. Other women but why do you, like, because they come over and they tell you how they sleep with all these men and you're like, hi, look at me. I'm like a, I'm like a, you know, famous blogger. Have you seen my wiki? <laughs> you know, and uh, stay a little longer, I'll let you see, I'll let, I'll let you see my wiki up close. <laughs> you know, and it's like, hey, I'm going to throw you some, I'm going to throw you some softball pitches and just say whatever you want. I'll just like tell you how great you are and how entertained I am by you and hopefully you'll be taking off your dress next week. And, and I get it. I get it. This is like your little shtick. This is like your little your little thing. It's like, because to you it's like, you don't have a boss. You like, you don't work for some newspaper or anything. You invite anybody you over and you're going to get paid by Google no matter what, right? I mean, it's like, you just do whatever the hell. So like, you and say like, hmm, I'll just invite all the women who talk about their sex lives and bring them into my pad and like maybe something will get going. And I like, and you're like, like me is something different. I'm like, you know, oh well, he's just some guy. What do I need him for? So he comes in like, you give me the third degree. So, so are you a hill Hashem? You know, and you start firing at these shots. I mean, you don't say to her, you know, what about you? Are you a hill Hashem? You know, you get out there and you start talking about sex, and you're supposed to be like a Jewish woman. You know, you don't give it a third degree. You're like, hey, you know, do you like it from behind? Do you like it on top, baby? You know, and I'm like, you know, how much of this can I watch? And take seriously, and I think ten minutes is my max. I think I maxed at ten minutes. So, baby, how's your sex? 
I think, I think ten minutes of that interview. You like it from behind? <laughs> <laughs>